right, I'm feeling pretty tapped into the energy, so we're going to do a love reading. Go ahead and take a deep breath. Inhale. And exhale. Thank you. The Empress card is the very first card that flew out. Spirit said, make sure that you put the Empress card first. Period. Make sure that you put you first. You are the priority. Absolutely. Some of you may have been learning a lesson on how to prioritize yourself, but that's not where I wanted to go with this reading. It just looks like you're in a very good position for love. You're in a very fertile position for love, will I say. If you're single, it looks like love is coming your way. We'll talk about it. If you're already in a relationship, it looks like things are going to be expanding, if you know what I mean. Expanding within your love life, um, moving to another level within the connection. Beautiful. For some of you, you're married and it looks like there is like even more of an upgrade in your love connection with your person. This person might be taking you out on a really beautiful date. There could be an anniversary or a birthday happening. I feel like some of you could be getting taken out on a really nice date, a really nice day out, a nice weekend, a nice vacation, so on and so forth. It feels like somebody here really wants to spoil you and treat you and take care of you and make you the priority, okay? Some of you, I feel like you've been doing some sort of subliminals, affirmations, subtle self-love work, and I'm hearing it's working. Keep doing it, keep it up, it's working. It absolutely is working. You are the priority. Some of you, that could be what you're trying to do is to make yourself the priority. That could be some of the self-love work and the affirmations and the subliminals that you're doing is making yourself the priority and feeling like the priority. So what I wanted to do with this reading is see what's going on with you in love and what's going on with your person in love. Whether you know who your person is or not, you can listen to this reading, okay? Remember to not force anything to fit and to take only what resonates. So it looks like you're the empress in love, regardless of your gender. You're in a very good position to be creating love and attracting love into your life. I really like that you're making yourself the priority because this is going to attract people to you who also naturally make you the priority, not in a codependent way. It's not codependency. It's making you feel cared about, making you feel noticed and appreciated and loved and valued like a real relationship should, right? Okay, so that's how you're doing in love. How is your person doing in love, whether you know them or not? We're seeing the sun. For some reason, if you're single, I feel like your person's out just like playing, just like having a really good time, enjoying life. Very um, philosophical is what I'm getting. And then a bunch of sirens just went off. So I really feel like I'm tapped into whoever your person is. And I'm like picking up on their energy very strongly. Your person could be a paramedic, an EMT, in the nursing health medical field, a doctor, surgeon, but they don't have to be. I'm just getting that your person right now is like playing and really just kind of like trying to be present and living life to the best of their abilities and to the most that they possibly can. It feels like this person is... Um, Spirit's giving me this energy of this person kind of just like allowing the fates to do what the fate is going to do, right? This person believes in fate and destiny and they are just out playing, living their life and they're just waiting, but not like waiting, if that makes sense, for their person, for fate to align you and them together, right? I'm hearing say la vie. So this person could be French. Paris could be significant, doesn't have to be, but it feels like your person is just like living life. They're very happy though, I can tell you that. This person could be a Leo. I'm also getting that this person's very youthful. Um, regardless of their age, they're fun, fun to be around. They also have this very bright light, bright personality. Yeah, and then we're seeing the Hierophant. But it feels like the divine is bringing the two of you together. It feels like there is going to be some sort of connection forming here with you and this person. I'm hearing by May, by May. I just got May 25th, May 25th. That could be somebody's birthday, but it feels like you and this person are going to be together by May or maybe married by May or in some sort of long-term serious commitment by May. Because like I said, this person's not looking for love or romance, but they've gotten to a point in their life where they're going to be able to identify what real love is for them when it shows up. 
because they're in a very present moment and because they're somebody who believes in fate and they believed in fate for a really long time they're just like i'm gonna keep living my life enjoying the present moment having fun when the day comes for me to commit to my person and be in a romantic relationship and in love with my person then we'll go from there right and so this person's going to be able to know that it's you and know that this is real and i feel like you're going to have this knowing too which feels like it's going to kind of rush the relationship but not in a bad way not in a like abrasive aggressive destructive way in a while well, this all just makes sense everything's just kind of lining up falling into place kind of a way like this is somebody that you could get with have this inner knowing and then be engaged to six months later or even sooner right this could be something like that that's why i feel like may was the time frame or something about may 25th could be significant but yeah it looks like you and your person are going to be taking things to the next level, committing to each other, or if you're already in a relationship, there could be this like marriage, renewing of vows if you're married, some sort of like upgrade within your connection that you didn't even think was possible for some of you. And for those of you who are single, you resonate with the parts that you resonate with. Yeah, and we're seeing the five of pentacles. This is so common in tarot, especially when it comes to love readings, this feeling of when is it gonna happen for me? Is it ever going to happen for me? Am I going to be alone forever? All of those thoughts, which are valid by the way, but they're not real. They're intrusive thoughts that are trying to limit you and they're trying to scare you, right? But they're valid thoughts to have. I get it. You're not going to be abandoned in love. I had a whole message for you about that, but I don't feel like going down that rabbit hole or going through that tangent. You know that you're lovable. You know that you're worthy and deserving of love. You've been doing so much work on yourself to make yourself the priority. And so now somebody is coming in, if you're single, to prioritize you and to put a ring on it for some of you or to commit to you if you're not into the whole wedding ring thing. Hey, you do you. I'm here to love and support you regardless. But that's what I'm seeing. Somebody who is noticing how you prioritize yourself coming in to prioritize you. And if you're already in a connection, this person is going to be prioritizing you in this connection even more, which is going to help you in this connection develop even stronger and grow even more. You get what I'm saying? Okay, hopefully this reading helped you. I'm sending you love always. Take care of yourself, stay hydrated, and I will see you next time. Peace.